Hey there, how you doing, Tigrix? I am doing splendid. Well, that's great to hear. It's great to see you here, too. It's actually a uh, little, little strange to see you in something other than uh, your own little world. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you who don't know this guy, um, I highly recommend that you immediately jump over to his uh, channel and check him out. Uh, he is... Uh, I, I, how long have you been doing videos for now? Um, about six weeks now. Like, six? my YouTube channel has been around for a long time, but and I've tried gaming before, but I've been actively working on gaming videos for the last six weeks. So, gotcha. Well, definitely, definitely get over and check this out. He's got uh, already a couple of good videos up, a couple of series going on uh, for a, a single player uh, vanilla, among other things. And I definitely recommend it. Um, but he has been kind enough to actually uh, accept our invitation to Ball Rocket Gaming Server. So we're going to give him the nickel tour, and as always, uh, get a chance for everybody on his channel to see what there is to see on the server, and for guys on my channel to kind of get an update and news on what's going on. So uh, we're going to go ahead and walk and talk here, and uh, we'll start you off by our wonderful spawn area, which, as you see, we've done absolutely nothing with since the last uh, <laughs> the last meet yeah. and greet for new people. So uh, we'll get to that. Um, Reminds me of my first build on Minecraft, which was, sadly to say, on the Xbox 360. Yeah, well, at least the spawn state is now safe, technically. There's actually, uh, I don't know if you even noticed, but there's a giant torch in right in the middle here. This is called a magnum torch. This thing is just freak all expensive to make, but this thing blocks natural spawns in a 64 block area, I think it is. So oh, it's it's impressive. it's handy, is what <laughs> it's very very it handy. It looks like it requires a, a diamond to make. Uh, it requires a lot, <laughs> actually. Oh, <laughs> the my. recipe is, is kind of crazy. Um, so we're, as we walk and talk here, I'm going to show you around the place, and we'll talk about a little bit of mods we have. Uh, right over here, we have our uh, our cemetery. This is a naturally naturally spawning um, element to. Hell, oh, hi there. Uh, naturally spawning element to uh, okay. one of the mods, the gravestone mod. Um, so this oh. actually spawns in. Oh, so when we if we die, a gravestone will appear. Exactly, and this is actually kind of beneficial oh, because boy. that way you don't have all your stuff uh, yard sale all over the floor, um, especially uh, with a yeah. lot of stuff like the gear I have on here is pretty much top tier tech armor. This stuff is a flaming pain in the arse to make, <laughs> and losing it would make me very very sad. <laughs> of course. Oh, right. VSD automated the system, so now you can make them as on a whim. But anyways, back when you couldn't, <laughs> it was a pain. Um, so yeah, we have mods like that. We've got all the usual uh, uh, mods from Minecraft. For those of you who haven't really kind of delved into that, we have all the what they call core mods. Things like build craft, industrial craft, forestry. These are all mods that kind of build around the idea of um, automation and whatnot. And uh, it makes makes the game really interesting and fun because there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with it that is pretty outstanding. So as we uh, pull into town here, that's uh, VSD's work. That's actually a combination of uh, um, Carpenter's Blocks and I think some of the metals from some other mods. Uh, Carpenter's yeah, Blocks... Very clever. Yeah. yeah, they have the ability to do things yeah. like slopes and whatnot. You'll see examples of those here and there. Uh, the first house we kind of go by here is actually uh, Snow Wolf. He's another uh, YouTuber on our server. He's been uh, MIA for a bit, but uh, he's uh, messaged me said he's going to try to come back and uh, jump on and say hi again because it's been a while. Um, oh, they're paws. Yes, they're paws. <laughs> <laughs> they're paws yeah. So. That's his. And that's his place right there. A paw as well. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Look at that. <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of a uh, lot of fun, a lot of fun things around here. Um, right up here, if you head down that direction, which we'll do a little bit later, is the residential district where people can build a home. What we try to do is we try to have. Um, I'm gonna turn off my coin here. I'll keep picking up stuff. We try to have people as their first build, uh, build a home in the residential, and it could be anything from a mud hut to something exquisite if you'd like but that, that way people get a chance to put a little domicile in the in the uh the hub city we've got uh you know plots of land you can grab onto um again i'll give you a fair warning in this area here because we have this workshop we'll go into in a minute um it can get oh, pretty yeah. choppy so i do apologize this is just kind of one of those yeah, facts of life starting to know it's a little bit of choppiness but it's not that bad <laughs> It's fact of life. So we're a little messy right now because we're actually doing uh, cleanup for our upcoming uh, 
uh, open open house on the server. So we're actually going to be opening our server up to anybody. So you can all just kind of jump on and actually come see the site, see what we've built, and so on. So people are certainly welcome to come. This is our workshop. Now, the workshop is one of the oldest buildings we have. This actually is a building that came with us from alpha testing all the way through. We kept copy and pasting it into the new world. Um, we've got a uh, big giant smeltery in the center from Tinker's Construct. You can actually do a lot with that. And again, this is a really fun mod that if you want to know more about it, we'll get into it. <laughs> Did you combine uh, with something else? Yeah, there is actually some red net cable here from uh, Mine Factory Reloaded, and it helps automate some of the stuff we do. And then along and the sides, we've got all of the Greg Tech slash Industrial Craft machinery on this side that runs on one type of power. And then on the other side over here, we've got a smattering of everything from Ender.io, Forestry, MFR, uh, Thermal Expansion, uh, and then Railcraft over here. And these run on a different type of power system. So we have a great Ooh, many different types that? of ambush mods. <laughs> that, my friend, is what liquid world? liquid glowstone. Thought you can actually was, melt down glowstone. Floated. It does float. <laughs> Amazingly That's enough, if you put cool. it outside, it will actually just dissipate and disappear. And if just you go up to the sky. Yeah, if, if, you, if you actually like stood in it, you'd actually get jump boost for a short time. So it's kind of weird stuff. Oh. So this is our little workshop. And this is really, this was the place where we started at before we started expanding out. And the idea of the kind of this place now is this is meant to be less about automation and more about um, when you need a one-off, I need to grind some stuff up or I need to polarize stuff, whatever. This is kind of the place we come to. Now, part of the system over here is our ME system, these little light-up panels here. The three Ooh. right across the middle, there's two different types. There's the, uh, just the interface, and then there's a crafting interface. This is effectively ties into our storage system, which I'll show you in a little bit. Everything in this system is communal. You are welcome to dig through here and grab anything you want. You don't have to ask. It's just there for the taking. We've gotten very far on the server. It's been around for a year, so you're, just, you're welcome to go two ways. You can go at your own and be hardcore, or you can just grab some gear from here and get yourself started on kind of a jump start. Uh, oh, it's totally, it's totally your call. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll stop in about a minute. <laughs> Our automated rainmaker doesn't do it fast enough, but we'll fix that eventually. <laughs> so that's the, that's the basics here. We've got some other features and whatnot, like our laser, uh, our laser ring system. What? Uh, it basically, you can, uh, make, um, chipsets and whatnot. You'll see lasers start building on the little table down there. <laughs> oh, that is cool. So then we have some other random stuff here. But basically, so this is kind of our, our tech workshop. Uh, I've come back out uh, the front here. Spending a lot of time in here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Get started. It's Possibly. a great place. There's also some uh, uh, more additional panels out here wow. to grab hold of. Um, again, we have residential. We'll uh, go back to it a little access, bit. Nice. Yeah, it just makes things a lot easier. Oh, by the way, there's actually um, uh, what, the equivalent of Ooh. hoppers around here. So if you throw stuff out... Uh. It will literally suck them up if you let them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I picked it up, so... Maybe. That's fine. Is this going to stop working? I guess, yeah. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's trying to. <laughs> um, so we have, like, yeah, you know, I, basically... I have an up. idea like that on the vanilla, where you put some half slabs uh, over some hoppers, and it will just go straight through. Exactly. Exactly. Um, in addition to that, whereas that's kind of our tech room with tech stuff, this is kind of our magic. This is our church. <laughs> Ironically, we have yeah, magic in church. it. church. So we've got our uh, Thumbcraft in here. Thumbcraft is the one major, <laughs> the major uh, yeah, magic the thing. Uh, downstairs, okay. we actually have uh, some additional stuff. We've got uh, enchanting. There's a whole bunch of books on these shelves over here. Everything from readables for Greg Tech manuals to enchantments. And again, this is all communal. Um, we need to get it alphabetized at some point. I've been lazy. I will be. <laughs> I think I'll be spending most of my time here off screen. <laughs> Oh, you'll, you'll love this, too, because anything that's a enchanted book here, you can actually come over to this guy right here. This is a, uh, a typing table, a, typist, uh, a typeset table, and a uh, printing press. Uh, like a printing press. Yeah. Yes. And so for the cost of XP, which is easy to get, uh, you can actually clone or copy uh, different uh, 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 books you have here. Everything from ones you write in to enchanted books. And basically, for every one book, you get three out of them, kind of a thing. 
So that's that some of the stuff there. so many then. Yeah, well, we try to make sure we have a stock of each one we want. And then up there, we have the three different portals. There's a portal to the Promised Land, portal to uh, Twilight Forest, and a portal to the Nether. And it's loud nice. as all hell. <laughs> so that is basically that. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump straight over this way here. we got other RAM stuff that comes up here and there. There's a whole bunch of unfinished projects because we're all... Yeah, we, we have a real life. We're not full-time YouTubers, so <laughs> we can only spend so much time playing yeah. games. Um, coming over to this side of the hill here is uh, the commercial district, and I'm not going to run all the way down there, but <laughs> you've got the visitor center, which I am going to never, ever be able to actually finish because it's a huge project. <laughs> That's meant to have oh, yeah. information where all the cities are going to be, what they do. We've got City Hall here. Uh, which I'll show inside. And then over oh, there we have the hall. commercial area. There's actually commercial district over there. We can build buildings for commercial or whatever. I've got a couple of buildings for some pranks I did. I've got the mail or post office, which I'm still working on. Um, as always, everything's terminally in process of being worked on. So we've got our uh, wonderful uh, city hall here. I did the framework for it in Kabul, and then uh, Heather came in and did all the detailing. So you can see here we've got a wonderful main entrance. Wow. It's still sparse, but getting there. Turgo did the dome above us. And then we have Ooh, things that, like... That, that would have been difficult. <laughs> it's actually not oh, because boy. we have these wonderful wonderful utilities. For example, we've got... Uh, oh, not a screwdriver. This guy right here, which is a builder's guide. Oh! This would <laughs> help me so much when I was building... And you can do things like my, uh... change size. You can also change... Oops. Uh, get out of there. Double domes. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can do things like change size on it. Uh, let's see if you do this. Which one is it? I'm trying to remember now. There's a. Uh... Oh, I gotta be barehanded. I keep forgetting that. Uh, I can do <laughs> cylinder mode, cuboid mode, <laughs> dome mode, <laughs> triangle mode. You name it, it can do it. Cuboid mode. Base. Cuboid mode. A cube. You just in I case think, you don't I know how to make cubes in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. So then over here, we've got the, the bathrooms <laughs> in there. And then we've got our meeting room. This is where we hold uh, held our last uh, town hall meeting. We had our agenda on books. So people could actually look through the agenda. Um, we haven't done much with upstairs yet. Upstairs is supposed to be offices for the different uh, different people. We actually have hey. organized positions you said here. This is the bathrooms. This is the women's bathroom. Well, Why men's you on, point men's... that one to me? <laughs> Men's on the other side. I'm sorry. Uh, then we also have uh, our meeting, our our uh, uh, <laughs> meeting hall here, and then finally we've got uh, offices. This is actually we have two main offices for me and Turgo. Since Turgo's our sysadmin, I'm kind of the the caretaker of Minecraft, so I need to get around <laughs> to getting things done I, here. I know what that's like. Yeah. <laughs> that's like so that's that's kind of the the personality here. And as I said, everything's always unfinished and more to do. So we try to get around to that. Um, now for the rest of this, we're going to pop back outside here, and we're actually going to bully past the um, uh, power plant real quick and make that a little easier on you. I'm going to give you a gift here. Oh. And why? Oh, my coin is still on. Why are you still on coin? Here you go. Ah, oh, right. Now, be careful with that. Uh, in the options, if you go to your options uh, screen, under controls, some of the options, because yeah. we have multiple mods, overlap each other. And when they do that, they don't quite work right. So the one we're looking for is uh, mode switch key, or mode switch, I think it is. Yeah, mode switch key. You're going to want to set that to a key that uh, isn't being used. Now, I'll allow you to switch the uh, system on and off. So you can fly and not fly when you need to. And the other one I'm looking for, I don't, mm. it's it's about mm, about halfway ah, down. Right. Now the other one, I don't think if you have boost, but yeah, the mode switch key is important because when you when you use it, what you need to do is uh, fly up into the air and then hit that mode switch key while you're flying. And there's two modes basically, uh, hover and not hovering. And hover is important because otherwise you come back down as fast as you can and <laughs> over the pavement. Yeah. <laughs> so try that. Out. Jump is to go up and let go to go yeah, down. I'm just trying to figure out which key to use. What would you recommend? 
Uh, I use a speed oh. pad, so I can use anything I want. <laughs> but if it's easiest for you, I, I usually put it. Separate. I usually put it somewhere close to my hand when I need to. Ooh. 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 Oh. There we go. So you should have hover on, say hover enabled. I I don't know where that is. Ooh. Well, you've officially now lasted longer than Tox did before killing himself. <laughs> yeah, breaking records. Yep. So we're going to go fly straight forward here and over to uh, the power plant. Oh, boy. <laughs> Coming for a soft landing. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I have hover on. <laughs> I've played a lot of Kerbal Space Program. I've prepared for this. <laughs> Here's open. There you there go. You Perfect go. landing. So, uh, yep. over here we got the power plant. This is actually the plant that powers all of Hub City as well as ships Ooh. power out to a couple other um, different locations. Uh oh. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I had to mute for one second. A little bit of, <gasps> a little bit of an audio glitch. I, I had to mute for one second. I have a wonderful family I like to come and visit. So I have my little, my little itty bitty and my wife. Hi, itty bitty. <laughs> I've got a uh, few kids and a loving family that's tolerant of me uh, disappearing into the office now and then. <laughs> so basically, uh, the power plant, like I said, this actually supports this city as well as a couple outlying cities to provide power via uh, rail, which we'll look at shortly. Um, basically, what we have here is two giant boilers, or at least I've skinned them to look like boilers. But you can see inside of here, there are uh, eight boilers apiece from the mod called Railcraft. So these boilers actually pipe in water and liquid or solid fuel. In this case, we've got a liquid fuel boiler over here. And then over here, this one's actually fed by charcoal. So we have a solid and liquid. Um, that actually comes from this big giant tank right here. This is full of uh, uh, biofuel. Like me. So <laughs> these, these produce all the uh, steam. And then in here, on our main area, these are all the turbines that produce power from that steam. So you can see we've got the... Uh, uh, pipes coming in. Uh, we actually have two pipe sets. We have the big red ones coming in, which actually have a steam pipe inside of them. And then we have blue piping off the water, which is more cosmetic than anything. Um, but you see our little turbines here. And if any of the turbines are in poor shape, we'll have a little red light that comes on. Let us know that the turbine blades are wearing out. So you actually have to take care of these things. You have to check them periodically, make sure the turbine blades are taken care of. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, basically, like I said, this thing... Uh, okay. This thing actually provides all the power for all the tech we have in this city as well as a couple of other cities. I'm going to go ahead and sneak out through this little wall here since I don't have it finished up. We've got a little power I substation, know. which I still haven't gotten working yet, but it's kind of a cosmetic thing. I screwed up my jetpack. Uh-oh, now what? Hover mode has been disabled. <laughs> like I said, you, can only, you can only enable or disable while you're flying. So you have to hold down your jump oh, to right. get going and then hit the enable. There, there you go. go. Perfect. So this this is this right here is a product of I was helping talks with rail logic and I got so fed up and was ready to kill somebody so I had to take a break and do something not tech. And so I did this did this. This is all cosmetic. Oof. And I decided to make a little substation. On the other side here we've got the companion to it. Like pollution in the ground in the water. <laughs> yes. Nice. That's actually a biome uh, biome specific. This is a different biome that has the water looking like that, yeah. which made this an absolutely ideal place for an industrial area. So this is our industrial district. We've got our power substation. You see some rails here. This actually has a, the trains that provide power to those outlying cities have basically battery boxes they carry with them. And they pull in, fuel up, or basically charge up, and then take those battery boxes out and uh, deliver the power to another city. So that's uh, that's the power aspect. I'm going to hop over the fence here. Uh, we'll start from one end and go to the other real quick here. I don't take too much too much time here. Kind of run long as it is. Um, we have sludge processing because there's machines from one of the mods that produces sludge. We can process it into dirt, sand, and other things. Uh, down underground here we have the parkade, which is basically where trains go to drop off items from other cities and pick up items uh, from here. We've got our data center. This is one of my little pride and joys. This is a... Uh, oh, I love the architecture. Thank you. I, th this architecture was, was the first time I actually didn't look at something in real life and try to copy it. This is just out of out of the blue. If you look at it, it's actually a curve on this wall here, as well as a dip or a curve in the roof itself. 
and it created what, what everybody refers to now as a bow tie. If you come up really high here with a jetpack and look down, <laughs> it actually looks oh, like yeah, a bow tie. <laughs> but if you come inside here, this is where all those items you saw at the workshop are hosted, basically. I've got a mess in here right now because I'm testing stuff, so there's crap in the way. But you've got uh, an access panel oh, here. Yes, this gets pretty bad. There's a little charging station for charging jetpacks. But in here is all our data center. These are all storage racks with hard drives in them. And all this stuff is wow. basically digitized oh. items. <laughs> if you yeah. see red, yeah, it know, means I, they're I, full. I've, I've seen... Yeah, whoa, Jesus, really? Yeah. I thought red meant empty. No, no, red is full. <laughs> we keep adding drives and we keep filling them up. But that's that side. And on the other side here, we have what we call Big Macs, uh, coined by Bevo. Uh, these are basically part of AE's mod. And these things, you can program anything you can build in a crafting bench, basically. This thing is programmed. So when you come over to this, uh, this panel here, if something doesn't exist, you can click on, say, craft you know, 40 sticks. And it'll, it knows how to craft and will make them. It'll take planks, turn them into sticks, and give them to you, basically. Awesome. So, pretty that crazy is, stuff. That will make things a lot quicker. Yeah. It's nice to that have. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that's ethereal glass, so mobs can't pass through it. You can. <laughs> oh, nice. So and up here we have our, our rail system. <laughs> and our rail system is kind of a, a key thing because uh, we're all about logistics. Um, we have BRGI, which is VSD's uh, Pride and Joy. This is actually um, basically when we took the workshop and turned it into a non-automated workshop. All the automation moved over here. So VSD built this building up, this black building, to do all the automation. So if you went inside that, I won't show you because it's scary and even I don't understand it. Um, everything you could think of needs to be automated, she takes care of in there. So that's that. And then the newest building we have is our BRAT station, which stands for <laughs> Volo Rocket Area Transit. <laughs> awesome. Uh, this is logo. yes. This is Talks uh, yeah. work in progress. This is the newest edition. This is where all of the passenger rails will come in, so people can jump on here and go to the cities via trains. And this is this Probably. is very critical because in this in this mod pack we have we have something that kind of stands us apart from others, and that is first of all, um, we're all about the automation. Oh, will you go away? <laughs> um, <laughs> we love logistics. But we have actually tweaked our mod pack so that uh, we don't have any teleportation. That means no chicken bones ender chests, uh, no teleportation pipes, no means to get items or people magically from one area instantly to another. If you want to get stuff from here to there, either you're hoofing it, you're using the nether portal, or you're taking a train. <laughs> and we actually have a lot of automation built out. We've got outlying cities that are up to 2,500 blocks away from here. And we have trains that truck Ooh. all the way out, pick up stuff from those places, and then truck all the way back. We have uh, a gaming town that BDA is working on. We have a forestry town that provides wood for our, um, uh, our process for a power plant. We've got uh, a magic town that VST started building, and we've got a mining town that uh, Sashela started uh, working on. Um, very early stages, there's not much to look at, but they're neat nonetheless. So we've started building rails out to there. The rails are a lot of logic, a lot of time, but it's so worth it. And by the way, I wouldn't stand right there if I were you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trains are pretty much an instant kill if they're moving fast enough. Now, we do try to slow them down in town here, but they have a habit of popping people. And they're pretty much, even with my armor, I can take about two or three hits, and I'm dead by them. Oh, maybe. <laughs> well, then I would have been flattened out standing in my series, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much the long story of it. Like I said, we, we don't do teleportation, so it's kind of unique. So everything's all about logistics, how you get things from point A to point B. I'd love to show you more about that. Maybe on a, uh, some other co-op or a collab we can get together and I can give you uh, an additional tour of some of the stuff we've done around here so you can see some of the, some of the cities. Um, Definitely going to have to learn some things about uh, some of the mods I've not got any idea about, like real craft. I know some of the mods, but I don't know. There's a lot of good tutorials out there and more importantly, oh yeah, there's almost somebody for every mod we have here that's fluent in it. Like anything magic, ask VSD. She's an absolute sweetheart, and she will show you everything there is to know about it. You want to know about rails? Ask Tox. He knows everything. If you want to know about bees, 
Uh, RG is great for that. Uh, I mean, it's just it's crazy. Yankee knows programming. So does talks. We have computer craft, so you can actually program things. Uh, all kinds of craziness. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, zip back over this way. Hold zip. Slowly walk here. By the way, do you need some food? Uh, I'm kind of good. Uh, I know I'm gonna run out of sprint soon. Oh, right here, let's do but this. Four bars down. So have one of those. Ah, magic bread. This will fill oh, you up in a heartbeat. Wow. <laughs> uh, I gotta eat. My, I gotta eat some of that in real life. <laughs> I think we have well over a grand in the AE system. And again, you are certainly welcome oh. to grab anything you like from there. That is totally communal. Um, because this kind of started out as a, a beta server running into release, we just never got around to having our own our own places, so to speak, in terms of um, uh, having our own storage and all that. So we have certain private things we keep in our houses, but for the most part, it's all community. Uh, so we're coming back into kind of the residential midtown area. We've got uh, a, a strip mall here that I never got a chance to finish. I'll have to work on that a little bit more. Uh, there's a laundromat in there. The laundromat actually has washing machines. If you stick any kind of vanilla armor in there, it'll actually fix it. The damage value will actually oh. go back to the full. <laughs> it runs on charcoal. Hmm. And then we're at the back side of, the, oh, of the workshop over there. And this right here is our pride and joy. This is a skeezy motel. <laughs> and what we always like to wow. do is we always like to have uh, people come in and, and uh, check in here. It's a place for you to stay until you get your feet under you, so to speak. So as part of tradition, come on into the uh, office here. And if you don't mind, go ahead and check on in there. Click on the book. And uh. just... You can scroll through the pages and see how people have things set up here. And you can uh, flip down to the end pages. And when you're done, just type in who you are, when you joined, basically checking in. Any little whip, or, whip quip or anything you'd like. <laughs> and uh, Oops, make sure you hit... Uh, that's in the future. Make sure you hit done, not sign. <laughs> yeah. And all you need to do now is go ahead and pick yourself out a room. I'm not sure if we have anybody still staying with us. The last person that checked in has pretty much moved himself away, but I'm sure we got all the stuff out here. But uh, I don't recommend uh, room one because there's a bum out back that uh, won't let you sleep at night. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch? What in the world? Oh, I'll show you those guys in a second. So we've got all these rooms are, are, are tailored to be unique. <laughs> um Let's check here. Usually if... Uh, hi! <laughs> I opened the door. The same and the door closes, closes, yes. Yeah. Yep, this one's open if you like. Um, so basically this is... this is If you want to have this room, you're welcome to stay here. Um, it's tacky, it's gaudy. We tried our best to make it look at, like, a, like a skeezy motel as much as we possibly could. This is all Heather's work. She's an, she's an absolute wonderful sweetheart when it comes to design. <laughs> Down to Ever. the pink bathroom with a glass door, which is a little bit disturbing um also we are of course a friendly community we do not believe in griefing stealing or anything like that now that said though in here we do supply a few basic things for you the personal safe once you put the personal safe down you are the only one that can access it nobody else can and the only way to move no, it like is with a, a wrench a more secure ender chest in a sense in a sense so you're looking to pick a room there if you like if that one's good enough for you then kudos Looking in the windows. <laughs> this one has blinds. Perfect. Oh, they all have blinds. You can actually oh. click on them. Oh, right. Awesome. <laughs> you can open them up. You can flat out open them. Everything. I'm a noob. <laughs> this one, this one here is actually perfect. an homage to our first skeezy motel on a 1.4 server we created. <laughs> it's a very special room to us. This is the one... Can't only sleep at night. <laughs> All right, my friends. So there you go. That is uh, that's us in a nutshell. Like I said, we have a lot of cool projects, a lot of people who people. Matter of fact, speaking of cool people, ADDF Toxic, everybody. Hello. <laughs> He sneaked, in, he sneaked, he in, sneaked in on us. Well, we, I, I kind of forgot to jump us down to a recording room, so yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of figured that's why I muted my mic. <laughs> How you doing, Tox? Pretty good. All so, right. 
I'm doing very well. So, uh, talks. Uh, we have somebody new. I see. Hello, <laughs> dude. So, uh, uh, Tigrix is actually Tigrix. joining us. Uh, first day on, first day on the server here. He uh, actually does YouTube as well. Um, got a couple of cool videos up. So, I was just giving him the nickel tour here. And uh, as one last thing, if you'd like, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, fly over to the residential zone. Hmm. We right over the top. This thing. You gave me the weakest jetpack ever. I I do Probably well because it's, it's in hover mode. I, I pretty much yeah. If you, if you take off to hover, you'll you'll fly a little bit faster. But then you have the downside of hitting the ground a little hard. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the yeah, second level jetpack, isn't it? Um, maybe. Uh, but in any case, uh, this first oh, district, as one of the first projects we request everybody do, is go ahead and pick out a plot and go ahead and make yourself a home. Um, to give you a quick Ooh. tour, we've got uh, the barn here, which will be moving someday. We have Yankee's house right here. Oh. Yankee's house, just so you know, was the original uh, house supporting our um, our power plant for wood. If you come up on top here, you'll see he's got uh, a whole bunch of trees on his roof. And he actually has Ooh. a... Uh, um, uh, harvester that's actually cutting them down. You see right here, one's going down right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I have tried making those works work in previous, like, in other mod packs, and I never figured it out. So This one's, this one's unique. This is the one that's very OP, so we had to tone it down. But this is Yankee's place. The uh, blue house oh. over here is the entryway. Uh, but this is Bunny Foo Foo, who's one of the founders. And actually, his house is kind of a sham. It's not really down here. It's actually up in the trees. Uh, he's got yeah. multi <laughs> tree hats. Um, I'm gonna come back Where this way here. <laughs> Lots of pretty trees. So we'll loop Anakin around the uh, front. You already saw snow wolves around the out edge of town here. Uh, side of Yankee's house. Oh, yeah, did you? And then then we come up on Whoa. BDA's place. BDA when he came on. BDA is very handy when it comes to style. He decided he was going to build a dirt house, an homage to his first build when he first started <laughs> Minecraft. Um, oh, that's dirt. That is all dirt. Wow. And if you fly up a little bit, first you can get a, uh, a dirt house. Yeah, if you fly up a little bit, you can get a, get a good view of it. He actually has vines, and he's got a, a big giant wooden stump that's smoking. <laughs> it's <laughs> pretty damn crazy. <laughs> good lord, this must have taken him a while. Yeah, that, oh, that, whoa. that that's uh, that's BDA's uh, dirt house. So, <laughs> it'd be bad if I fell in this. <laughs> so going down the way a little bit more, we have Tox's. Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's a, a, not, a, not a chateau, but a. Uh, this is actually Can based off of house. a a house <laughs> that uh, I believe Tox stayed in in Germany. Yep. Uh, so he built this from memory from his uh, Germany trip. And then... The uh, I want to fly right up to the window so I freak them out. <laughs> well, the best part is mine doesn't actually uh, bob, so I can stand here dead still and <laughs> just peer in. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy! Uh, we're going to actually go over the top of uh, Tox's house real quick. and We're going to see uh, the other few houses we have here. This one here... There's a sheared sheep up in this tree. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Oh, dear God, there's a giant air up my house. I am now disturbed. <laughs> now what? Can mm. we prank you? <laughs> at least you're recording. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm not looking at it right now. I am not looking at it. This is my house. This is a, a Tudor-style home. And then up on the hill there, the blue house is uh, Viesti's place, where RG and Seshi will also stay. So this is residential district. There are many plots around here. Feel free to fly around. Pick a spot out. Um... Pretty much if there's not a house on it or if it doesn't have a sign in front of it, it's open. We have houses everywhere from our properties that are very small to very large from like 64 by 64-ish down to, you know, 16 by 16. Um, feel free to pick any lot you like anywhere. There's a whole bunch around this side that are kind of large in space. And then a whole bunch around the back side that are middling to whatever. Um... You are more than welcome to grab anything you like, and you know if you pick a giant lot and put a dirt house on it, you know a small dirt hut. I don't care. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> but this, this is basically yeah. an opportunity to, quote unquote, introduce, introduce yourself to the server, show off uh, your your building skills if you'd like, and just you know, have a place that people can come to to drop off gifts, say hello, whatever else. 
Prank. Yeah. Awesome. Prank, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So there I you go, my friend, been, again. Well, I've been sort of pranked before. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting. Uh, the pranks get a little hilarious right here. I regret here. saying that now. Because now <laughs> I know I'm going to get pranked, aren't I? Uh, it might happen. Um, but again, man, uh, welcome to the server. Really, really happy to have you. Um, we love getting together whenever possible. Again, it, it's a little bit quiet right now because everybody's kind of off doing their own thing or in some cases off being busy trying to get things done and prep for the new server coming up. Um, so business kind of died down a little bit. It's this, this is a great proving ground for you to get used to how we work, what we do, um, and so on. Um, but it's like some people have kind of died down a little bit because they know a new server is coming. And even though this new server is coming up, we will leave this server up for as long as people want it to be up. So we'll run both servers until people are content to let this one retire. So um, that's about the that end of it, my sense, friend. Yeah. Uh, like I said, uh, Mikasa, Sukasa, when it comes to stuff. And we have a lot of <laughs> great people here that know a lot about different mods. They're kind of special, specialized in different things. So please do not be afraid to ask. And of course, if you want to dive in to your own projects, have that. If you want to dive in and assist with somebody else, We've got plenty to do, especially with our open house coming up. Again, our open house coming up at the end of November, the 29th and the 30th. And this is going to be a true open house. Anybody and everybody is going to be welcome to jump on and actually see the server, walk around with us, yak and chat, and uh, see what we've done firsthand. We'll also be having some events as well. We have a PvP arena that uh, BDA is kindly building for us. We have not actually uh, uh, killed the Ender Dragon yet, so we'll be doing that mm -hmm. as well. Um, we'll do some other events. We'll go through the crypt you saw out near the um, spawn area. There's a couple other ones out there that haven't been touched. Those things, even with my gear on, are insane. Uh, <laughs> so please feel free to uh, you know uh, join us for that. And if you have uh, any friends and watchers that want to join us, you're certainly more than welcome to. You can find out all the details over at BottleRocketGaming.com. So uh, by all means, head on over there and check things out. So that's it for now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Tigrix. Really looking forward to uh, playing with you. Oh, yeah. That's a Thank you, Sashi. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>